I'm Sir Tap Tap, and welcome back to Valhalla. I just noticed this game renders at 30 FPS. I should probably stop recording at 60, but whatever. It probably doesn't make much difference after proper encoding membership. But yeah, it's just the same stuff we already saw. Oh wait, there's no news? Oh no, we already saw all that. Oh, a, uh... <clears throat> A commenter in the last uh, video mentioned this apparently reads um, the retribution is co. It probably you know retribution is coming. I'm sure. Yes, Park. No, sit down. All right, let's get going here. Good work. I actually have no idea if buying that plant does anything, but the game shamed me into doing it. Good evening. Hey, Jill. Take off your stupid robot helmet. You people in your non-anime helmets. Your head doesn't fit in there. Bwah! Oh my god. I'm I'm Hank Hill. Change that J to J to an H. I'm Hank, Hank Hill. That's a sound you don't hear every day. Boss, what are you doing with that helmet? I was just about to ask you where it came from. But why would you just wear a helmet? I mean, how would it even fit just random people? Oh, whatever. A white knight came yesterday. She left, and, well, she forgot to take it with her. Figured she'd eventually come looking for it, so I left it under the couch. Wait. You regularly just put things on without asking who they belong to first? I don't plan to value every move, Jill. I just act. It's a great quality in a boss, isn't it? By the way, I did get a bunch of people asking me to continue, so I guess I will play... I, I don't know how long this is, but I guess I'll try and play the whole thing, I guess? I, I guess. Um, kind of could have used that enthusiasm on the first video when I first asked, but I guess I needed to be clear. Anyway, as your boss, I'm taking this helmet until the client comes for it. <laughs> Just buy your own helmet, lady. Well, this helmet is comfortable and cool. Uncomfortable and cool and really, really cool. I have, I have the dumbest boss. Hello. It's strange that you're late, Gil. Yeah, the traffic was gah. Don't run, you have work to do. I'm not going back to Hong Kong. Oh no. Poor Gillian. Chief? Sorry. Thought you were someone else. Look at look at the head situation here. That 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 helmet is not made for anime heads. Apparently. I'll leave the rest up to you. I'll donate these Pluto the Pluto Warhays. What? What? Nothing. Never mind. She seems happy. It's been tense these last couple of days. She somehow relaxed now? Good. If you know somebody who's tense, just buy him a stupid helmet. It'll cheer him right up, assuming they have the, uh, you know, mentality of a five year old. Oh, it's jukes jukebox time. Um. I should play VNs more. They, um,. They compress amazingly well. The last video was like 45 minutes and it was only like 200 megabytes. Because I mean, they're so low motion and stuff. Time to mix drinks and change lives. Ah, it's you. How dare you. Hey brat, you're in luck. Decided to bless this place again. Luck, he says. Oh, Mr. Donovan, welcome to Valhalla. What can I get you? What do you think I want, kid? That's a beer. It's a beer time. <laughs> well, fake beer. Um, two aldehyde, two of this, or four of this, two of that, four of that, one, two. It's eight. Mixed. There you go, buddy. Yes. Now that's what I call service. That's good to hear. What brings you here today, Mr. Donovan? Today, we are supposed to hand the interns an article topic. All those crazy bitches came flocking to me the first... Like a first high schooler with a car. I couldn't deal with it, so I switched places with some poor sap. He was supposed to be doing an interview today, but tell with that. I wanted to give this guy the name of the sergeant and... Or the voice of the sergeant and Halo. The first Halo. I can't. Was it 
Johnson, I think. I can't do that voice. I'm doing my best. I'm sorry. I was gonna like what I what I need to do for voices is like what I was gonna do is record like a voice sample of each of them and give them a name so I can remember which voice is which and you know keep that consistent. But I haven't bothered to do that yet. I think this GIF is gonna get old. Anyway, thanks to all that shit, I found myself here, blessing your hellhole with my presence. It smells like less like piss today. You were here yesterday, too. How did that come about? There's this gal that was performing at a concert later tonight. Yesterday, I was turning the detail of the interview I'd have with her today. Like I said, I'd rather work here and deal with that pack of competitive bitches. I see. How was the interview? Easy enough. The fact that the gal had a nice pair of knockers helped. Why is everyone terrible? Well, I guess it's cyberpunk, but... We've come a long way in the apartment of Lilim Sex Appeal, I tell ya. She was a Lilim then? Yes, one of them new fancy King Class Chaya models. You interviewed a robot? I've heard they're anatomically correct in every way. I wouldn't mind finding out about that myself. Hmm? Hey you, the guy with the... I'm a John face. Huh? Me? What the hell is a John face? Yeah, you. Do I know you? I don't think so, sir. Stop harassing best girl. No, no, I'm pretty sure I know you. Wait, wait, wait. Is it the Hong Kong riots ten years ago? How do you know these things? I've never been to Hong Kong. I certainly did, didn't defect from any anti-riot force after stealing supplies. Gillian, no. Stop with your words. Really? That's a bummer. You look like a guy who owes me to drink. You were in those riots, Mr. Donovan? Do I look like some anarchist hippie to you? I think it's way too good for the current situation. It's way too energetic. Anyway, ten years ago, I started. I tried to start a silicon business. So, I was in Hong Kong talking with some investors, and these damn riots broke out. Seriously though, they really think the laws they're trying to pass wouldn't backfire. They're openly trying to segregate people with augmentations. No matter how many they have, different capabilities you put in between, it's still segregation. Once people start crying segregation like that, you're doomed. This is the PR century. If you're going to do that, disguise it a bit. That's a very laconic way of surmising the incident. I mean, there's a political agenda revolving around cheap labor. And the plan reached a developing stage because the media was instilling fear in the public. The general fear that augmented people would become power hungry maniacs was a key factor in the plans. Everything is mostly the aftermath of the previous protests, where, on second thought, maybe it's better to be laconic. <laughs> Trying to get the full picture might give you beyond the back beyond the Industrial Revolution. All well, that happened when I got out of high school. I remember, I remember I had to turn down a scholarship in Hong Kong because of all of that. Yes, yeah, scholarship. That's no mean feat, brat. Well, I guess even without the scholarship, there would have been the language barrier. I remember when I was kind of excited back then, cause... Nah. I was really into this one Chinese idol band. No, Jill, no! Stay away from the idols. Idols are trash. Actually, it's worse than trash, it's abusive. Ugh. Real life idols are bad juju. Do not like those. I forbid you, dear viewer, from liking such things. You'd be surprised at how easy Chinese can be. I doubt it. I doubt it. So you know how to speak Chinese? The only translator I had available was some pizza face pencil neck. And I wasn't going to allow myself to be seen with that. If someone like me can learn Chinese in two weeks, I doubt, I doubt that. I doubt that very much. I'm guessing a scholarship student might have a chance. Why do I feel like you challenged me to suddenly learn Chinese? Chinese? Wait, when you say Chinese, do you mean Mandarin or Cantonese? Tangerine? Can't <laughs> what? People say Chinese, they're usually referring to the written word, not the spoken one. It's important to clarify, because there's lots of dialogues in the Chinese language. In Hong Kong, lots of people speak Cantonese, so just saying Chinese won't do. You might have learned Cantonese, because you're only going to Hong Kong. Or you might have learned Mandarin. This is this is a very cyberpunk conversation we are having. There are many cybers and punks going on. Anyway, you might have learned Mandarin, because it's the majority elsewhere. Went to Hong Kong and managed to sell a deal. Have no idea about anything else. Right. 
Anyway, surely a student with a scholarship can serve a Mars Blast too, right? <laughs> sure. Let's change the pace. Let's get a Mars Blast. Of course, he wants a big one. Powder Delta. Oh, I guess this is already big, right? Hmm. Manly, spicy, strong. Wait, is that more than... Yeah, so I can't make this big. It's already big. Blended. There you go, buddy. Alright. I guess I believe your story. Right. Hey, kid. I got wasted yesterday, so there's certain protocol here. Do you mind telling me if I said anything anyone could use against me in a court of law? Unless complaining about your investors can be used as a legal weapon, I don't think so. Oh, good. Fuck those sons of bitches. He's less shitty today, sort of. What did I tell you? Oh, well, they wanted unreasonable stuff. They felt like you had more power than you do and all that. Oh yeah, I recall something like that. But then again, it's, it seems to be something I say a lot when drunk. That racial slurs in German. Racial slurs. <laughs> but let me tell you something. There are people worse than your investors. Who? Your clients. Excuse me? <laughs> your readers! If you, think, if you think clients are always right, you're wrong. Unless I'm the client, that is. We live in an era where PR is the first and only word in anything. You can sell the shittiest of stuff and people will buy it if you're the apple of their eyes. Make one fucking mistake and it's over for you. You're suddenly a criminal to them. No chance of appeal. God forbid if they ever catch you said something out of context. A month ago we had to clarify that we were talking about the animal in an article about cougars in nearby forests. <laughs> Okay. All because we got a pack of 40-year-old divorced soccer moms crying about hurt feelings. They were having picnic parties in the same forest. <laughs> what? Thought we were writing about them. God, I hope at least one of them gets eaten by the damn namesake. <laughs> yeah, it's funny when somebody else hears it, but the smell of rosy perfume still <laughs> makes my blood boil. Nowadays, nobody can take a joke. Always out for blood. Can't, you can't win. They'll always offend somebody. Well, take, some take it graciously. Many love feeling insulted. They relish the thought of ganging up against something. Those hypersensitive bastards are your clients. They're the ones you have to target. I run a goddamn newspaper. The whole point is to present news in the most neutral way possible. Being offended by a newspaper is like being angry at the mayor. Sure, let's go with that. Man, it's not like he's totally wrong, but... Yeah, from those kinda Damn, look at the time. Need to get back to work soon. And yeah, just drink a bunch of booze and head back to work. Just finished an interview and it must be posted as soon as possible. The fact that we're posting it after the chick finished a concert is kind of a, enough of a problem already. Something delayed the interview? The interview was supposed to happen last Friday. One of the interns, this meek little girl, was supposed to do it. Some fucking reason she didn't just didn't. Spent two days negotiating something else and said negotiating did you have to pay or something basically when that encore concert happens i need to plaster that chick's face all over the front page i see all right then one last drink before i leave give me something bitter to wake me up i wonder if some alcohol would help too bitter and booze okay sunshine uh All of these sound wake up -y. One, two, three, four, five. Let's make it a big and aged and just fill it to the brim with booze. Uh, mixed, not blended. There you go, buddy. I like how it's a shot glass, even though we like made a billion gallons of booze in it. You know what? I feel like I should compensate the poor bastard that took the heat today. I do wish this had instant text options, like 
for a visual novel, this is kind of lacking on the text options. It's got the, it's got the log, which is probably the most important feature in terms of like accidentally missing stuff. But uh, I don't think it has an auto. I wouldn't use auto anyway. But um, instant text. Every game should have instant text. Like, as the default, really. I, I don't know why people, like, unless your text has, like, cool text effects, like, um, Burrito Galaxy 65 stuff, I don't really want to see it appear letter by letter. Maybe if you're Animal Crossing and you have the little Beebleys, you know, the, the voice sounds they make. But, yeah, that kid, Joel, Gene, Guillermo, Hitoro, I can't remember his name. That's pretty, pretty wide reach there. That kid is always gushing about that auto I interviewed. Can't remember anyone for shit, but he's annoying enough to make me remember him. So I don't know. I feel like I cock blocked him, him big, bleh, big time today by taking his gig away. Worst of all, I left him to fend off a pack of crazy bitches. And that's something I wouldn't wish on anyone, not even my worst enemies. Well, maybe two of them. You're sounding so considerate right now. I'm no saint kid, but I'm a man. A man must never cock block another man unless he's trying to fuck your mom. What if she's a what if it's your dad? <laughs> Did I stutter? Never. Let's maybe you can get him tickets or something. Nah, see, that'd mean he'd be off work, not even be at my beck and call tonight. I seen that Brack talk to no end about her, so I know. I'll let him write about her somewhere else in the newspaper. Even the food critics call him. It's shit anyways. <laughs> I'm so fucking nice. I'm out, kid. Thank you. Please come again. That'd be interesting to see, I guess. That was tiring. <laughs> hey, robot lady. Hey, Jill. I think I have a problem. I'll agree with that. Don't tell me. Yep, I can't take the helmet off. I told you it was too big for your- or too small for your anime head. You didn't listen. You anime people never listen. <laughs> Gillian's having a good time. Yeah, yeah, very funny. Did you check the internet for help? <laughs> Why would the internet? Well, I guess there's. Let me Google head stuck in non anime helmet. <sighs> Why wouldn't it be? I'm sure you anime types get your head stuck in all sorts of things. I could break it, but I don't want to damage clients' property. What? Did you run out of air? I just realized you served a Valkyrie in Valhalla. Ah. Oh. Don't you pun me, boss lady. <laughs> G Gillian, calm down. Shit, don't scare me like that. I don't think you can run out of air with this helmet. What are you gonna do? I know someone that might help me. I'll give her a call. H how? Just press buttons. Th th it can't be that difficult. Hey, Iris, I need some unclogging advice. Uh, Iris? I've heard Chief call her a couple times. Maybe she's a friend? More importantly, will Chief be fine? She will. If there's no god or Buddha, you can always trust boss. Yeah, let's hope you're right. Hey, honey. Hello. Are you a ro you're a robot. Hi, hey, honey. Can you see me? Dorothy. Oh, yes. This is robot lady. Really, man? They sell me the wrong stuff? Oh, you have sweet eyes. Who sold you what? Jill, I'm gonna go out for a bit to buy a screwdriver and bacon. Are you talking to yourself again? No, I'm not. Hello! Oh, hello, Dorothy. Wherever you- <laughs> wherever you are. You can't see? I'll be back in a bit then. She didn't see you. What- what is the seeing thing? Oh, I get it now. They sold me a Vic Jammer, not an optic camouflage system. Okay to explain? Have you seen those pics or videos or someone stripping or undressing? But I mean the ones where the clothes are the only thing you see and the other pers the person is invisible? Come again. There's people out there with a fetish for invisible people. Well. Okay. But you can only see a few articles of clothes floating about. I was trying to find something that would let me cater to that fetish, but, I <laughs> but my contact misunderstood my request. Well, aren't you an interesting one? Are you, are, you, uh, are you a sex bot? I don't like sex box. We don't like your tops around here. Mm-hmm. I asked him to bring me something to make me invisible, and he did. But I'm only invisible to cameras. Even then, wouldn't your clothes be invisible too, such a jammer or something? Hmm. I have a point. Oh well. I'll work something out. Maybe I'll get a nanocam module. 
Nano camo? Haven't you heard of nano camo? This is some pretty high tech fetish gear here. You know. There are military technology that recently branched to civilian appliances. Like sex fetishes, apparently. They use nanotechnology to make fabric or whatever materials take any te color texture you want. You can order a module f from them and change the colors of clothes, walls, or tables with it. Huh. Maybe look it up. What does that have to do with what you want, though? If I remember correctly, they have a module that makes things almost invisible to the human eye. It was quite pricey last time I checked, though. Almost to the human eye? Well, it's not perfect. But if you move, you'll, you'll be an eerie surroundings colored blob. It's Octo Camo. And we Lilium. Oh, she is the se Is that- I guess that's- she's a sex robot. Okay, then. What? Are, are you a client or, like, one of our, like, I don't know, workers? Like, I'm confused here. L we Lilium see differently, so it's ineffective against us. Still, it might be what I need. That was about talking to yourself again. Nothing important. What are you having? Wait. We give the robot booze? I'm in a pretty good mood, so give me a piano woman. Okay. Uh, piano woman. I want to get the robot drunk. I'm gonna give her extra booze. I want to see if she can get drunk. Um, all aged and mixed. Oh. I guess it's only optional that you can overfill with. One, two, three. Let me try that one more time. Oh wait, I forgot the powder delta. Two, one, two, three, four, five. Three, four, five, two, three, one, two, three, aged. Okay. It has to be optional, optional whatever then, I guess. Crap. I wanted to get her drunk. If robots can get drunk. This is, this is what that, you know, do robot, or do androids dream of robotic booze, whatever. What am I doing wrong here? Landry 9, 2 powder delta. Aw, oh, goddammit, I forgot to age it. It's kind of annoying that it resets that. Why do I have to drag? 2, 3. Okay, aged, mixed. Okay, have your stupid piano, woman. Thanks! I love these ones, you know? I keep them for special occasions, whenever I'm feeling good or when I need to get out of a slump. And today? Today, feel good! That's nice. Okay then, how's this for a bonus payment? Oh, the ticket from Friday. Can't believe I still remember that. That guy was so nice in giving it to me. Too bad it was filled to the brim with dogs. I would have enjoyed the drink here otherwise. The light from her eyes is gone. She has remembered the horrors of the dog piss and soap. I don't think this ticket should be valid. But then again, they were improvised, so there isn't really a contract involved or anything. <laughs> the light returned to her eyes. You know, hmm? If you're lonely enough to start talking to yourself, we could hit an arrangement. Oh, the, them bedroom eyes. Them robot bedroom eyes. Keep me fed and I'll keep you company. Oh my god, they are bedroom eyes. We're gonna have sex with a robot tonight. Mm -mm. You'll seem to need to pay if you want to get naughty, though. Think I'll pass. I already have a cat that does all that. <laughs> Wait, what do you do with your cat? Do you pay him to... Finish that sentence and I'll make sure you've truly become invisible. Fine. Uh, consider this a standing offer, though. Oh, hey, John. Ah, Dorothy. Didn't see you here last Friday. I was dealing with some stuff over the weekend. And Monday. Yeah, yeah. Was it a girl? I wish. <laughs> What'd you do? What'd you do? I'd rather not talk about it. Hey, honey, what did he do? Gil's been a complete mystery for as long as I've known him. His past is like a nebulous Parker mass that tries to bite him every once in a while. I can't see, Parker. Get out of the way of the robot. Yes, they're a robot waifus, Parker. Really? 
What is your opinion on the situation? Is that so? I like when he whispers, but you probably can't hear it on the mic. Would you sit down? There's no room for you to sit. He looks so offended. Parker, please. Parker. Hello. You're in the way of the mic. Get... You, you can't sit down. There's no space. Get up here. Get up there. There you go. You have so much random stuff, it's hard to make connections about what happened then. Parker. And you know, people lie. Does your boss know about it? She said, I'm not one to judge, seems like. She knows what the hell's going on. I think I'm better off not knowing. It's not really necessary, and it's a pain to think about. Parker, please. I'm right here, you know. Why, why can't we... Why can't we click here to advance dialogue? Oh, you can change! Oh my gosh, yes! Yes! We found it. We found Burrito Galaxy 65. Success. <laughs> Did I tell any lies? No, but... Never mind. Oh yeah, how about your boss? Why was she wearing a helmet? She found it. She put it on. Now she's stuck. Oh, yeah. Randomly putting on stuff you find is problematic. Oh no, she's Tumblr. No shit. I mean, there's this girl that wanted to see if she could use a glass bottle as a- Oh no. Bit early for those stories. Ugh. You know, th there are specific products for that purpose. You should definitely use those and not anything else. It is a very serious safety issue. Bit early for those stories, don't you think? Nope. I mean, I guess the sex bot would love these stories. By the way, it's weird I didn't see you yesterday. I have a job to do, you know. Yeah, but you usually come here before you start. Aw, did you miss me that much? Yesterday was a bit different. I worked the entire day. I don't know if I should ask. Oh, it was weird, but not kinky weird? Isn't... Okay, is she not a sex bot? Uh, uh, not this guy. The guy paid me all day to. I, I can't read that sentence. I'm sorry. Really? Yeah, and I go to his house at 11 a.m. dressed as requested and spend all day there. Play some games, occasionally tell him I love him, and go to bed when ordered, then leave. Nothing sexual. I used to expect him to push me against the. Uh, I'm not reading that either. But after three years, after three years. What is wrong with people? God damn it, Ingram. This game better have a mini game where I get to punch Ingram in the dick with, you know, some sort of protection for my hand, of course. Like, brass knuckles on top of a boxing glove. Three years? Yeah, one day a year for three years now. Oh, one day a year. Okay, what? Whatever. Not gonna think too hard about it. Oh, but last year he wanted me to come play the part on his daughter's birthday. Wait a second. Does he have a daughter or not? Had. Seems she. Oh. Well, that layers things a bit. Also, I'm not usually a fan of dithering, but I really love the dithering in the hair here. I mean, dithering's alright. It has its ups and downs, but with this, you know, pixel art anime, I, the the dithering is a real big part of what makes it look good, in my opinion. Oh. Yep, I seem to attract that sort of people for some reason. The world's most depressing sex bot. Nobody. I said nothing. Give me a moon blast, would you? Sure. Alright. Powder Delta, Flangeride, to Cataber, all on the rocks, blended. I want to give her a big one. Wait, no, I. I can't make this drink big. Because I'll run out of this, right? Oh! I can, just barely. Or not just barely, but you know what I mean. Is that right? Oh wait. Twelve. Yeah. On the rocks. Blended. Sorry, I have to get the sex bot drunk. It must happen. Here you go. There's something interesting about this drink. I don't actually like it, but I can't stop drinking them. It tastes like a bit of sugar drowned in pure alcohol. I, wonder, I thought that was a different drink. How, why do all of our drinks suck? We have like two that taste good. This is the worst bar ever. Like, can't you people just make like a margarita? Whatever. It tastes a bit like a bit of sugar drowned in pure alcohol. Small wonder you feel like that. 
Though that's not even that much alcohol, considering some of the drinks, like that Everclear one. There's something I mean to ask you. Yes, I'm single and I don't mind that you're a girl. Okay. I mean... Do you actually mind what anyone is? Not at all. I mean, you're a robot, I was about to say. Anyway, it's not about that. Do all DFC... Oh my god, I hate you. Fucking... I don't want to explain why I'm offended by that. <sighs> yes and no. Out of Factory, we look like kids because our development needs to be as close to human as possible. They look like babies outside the factory? Nope. Every fresh DSC looks about like 10 to 13. Makes it easier to upgrade later. Why, why would... Never mind. Upgrade? Once, uh... I'm not gonna read that word anymore. Passes three maturity tests can offer a factory upgrade. Said upgrade alters the body look older. This seems incredibly elaborate and stupid, frankly. Like, why would you just... Just make them whatever... Ugh. Age... Will you go through it? I don't know. Right now, I'm a rarity. I'm more of a Pinkie Pie myself. You don't find many like me in my line of work, so I have an advantage. I really need that advantage, you know? How so? When people hire me half the time, it's not because I'm me. The amount of role-playing I have to do on a normal night is ridiculous. So, if I stop looking underage, I'll lose my advantage to everyone else. If they all start like that, like, the, that, the name of that model line, I'm sure they're all getting it for a certain reason. Oh, uh, whatever. Should I... Okay. I didn't think about it that way. Should I think about it at all? No, stop talking, Jill. Seriously. I mean, maybe I'll go through it if I ever decided to retire or something. But right now, I'm just fine the way I am. I see. Good evening, Jill. Oh my god, it's... It's never asked for this guy. Welcome to... Does that happen a lot? <laughs> Not really. You smug little brat. It would happen less if Jill would just let people call her Jules. Call me Jules. <laughs> I'll make sure every time you sit you'll hear the cling of your shaker. Fine, fine. I'll be here in a minute, Jamie. Just let me finish here. Jamie? Whatever. Sure, no hurry. Hello, sailor. Uh, hello, young lady. Just call me Dorothy. You're Jamie, right? Nice to meet you, Dorothy. I didn't ask for this. I just thought you should know that. Hey, hey, let me buy you a drink. I don't think... Are you sure you should be the one buying drinks, Mrs. Sex Robot? Oh, I couldn't let you do that. I never asked for this. I insist. I got a hefty bonus the other day, and I'm in a good mood. I suppose being polite for me to reject, even though I didn't ask for this. Wait, you're a robot, too. Wait, of course you are. Never mind. He didn't ask for that. Sure, I'll take your offer. Er, wrong voice, whatever. Yay, honey! I'll have a big, big sunshine cloud. I'll be fine with just a gut punch. Come on, don't be stingy. Ask for something more expensive. I'd rather not. Man, that good quotes me on the end <laughs> with the way she addresses people. Okay, then, let me... One big sunshine cloud and one gut punch. Press next. Oh! Make both before serving. Okay. One big sunshine cloud. For Bronson extract. Um, this one's for the robot, right? So. Tastes like chocolate milk. It's smell intact. Some say it's. Um. Is that really all? I guess just fill it to the brim with cardamine or whatever. Uh, on the rocks. Blended. Success! Um, gut punch. Gut punch. One flange ride. He didn't ask for this, but I'll give him a little bit. Little bit of booze. Aged. Mixed. There you go. Here and here. Thank you. All in order. Thank you, Dorothy. I did ask for this. Don't mention it. And thank you, Jill. It's my job. Hey, Dorothy. May I ask you something private? Uh. If you need a price list, I have a convenient card with updated fees. 
I can give you a discount if you pay for the room or invite me to dinner. No, thank you. It's not about that. Then go ahead. I don't think you can ask me something I've never been asked before. Is it true that the... Uh, Nana machines. Nana machines. Nana machines. Is it true that the thing leaves tracking nano machines on the other person after? Well. Uh. Uh. I hate you, Dorothy. I am, yes. That's a semi myth that no one has tried to dispel. It's true, but also not true at the same time. Care to explain? We do have tracking nano machines, but they're released when the body enters alert mode. When we're being assaulted or the like. That way, the authorities can chase down the tracker. It's kind of buggy, though. I've heard stories of people who marry and get nervous on their wedding night, and bam! Their partners end up spending the honeymoon in jail. <laughs> that, sound, that sounds un inconvenient. I don't think those. I don't think they asked for that. I see. Besides, I modified myself that if any tracking nano machines are still being released, I'd have to command, command their tenacity. To be honest, there's also the sermon nano machines. That those nano machines help improve performance, but that's just silly. Now I get to ask you something. Go ahead. How much of you still organic? Just enough to make my skin that my skin still heals over time. Come on, you know that's not what I mean. I'll tell you that and nothing more, young lady. Fine. See if I care. Those evil eyes. Honey, I'm going. I'll leave you with the meanie. Thank you. Come again. That girl's something else, huh? I never asked to be sexually propositioned in your bar. She's so earnest in what she does, it's kind of hard not to root for her. She also has no qualms about anything whatsoever, and that becomes a problem from time to time. Okay, I'm done here. Right, I'm gonna go and take my girl. I need your girly hands for a second here. Oh wait, I thought I thought that was girl. It was Gil. Gil and his girly waifu hands. Sure, no problem. If you think Dorothy is the best waifu and not Gillian, I'm sorry. You're just wrong. You're just wrong. I apologize if I'm taking time from your break. No, don't worry. So you'll have to deal with me. You're no problem, Jill. Yeah, you're, you seem to have a blast when Gil's the one serving you. Anyway, do you want something else? Can you make me a Mars Blast? That I can. Mars Blast. Better not give him any other kind of blast drink. What do you mean? Oh, there's different blast drinks. I guess that's a little hint. Um... Six Bronson Extracts. One, two. All blended. Wait, what? Aw, oh, crap. Needed four of that thingy. Uh, powdered Delta. Two, three, four, five, six. Blended. Okay. I love that we're we're doing the you know cyberpunk trope where we, you know, super nano machines and everything, but we've got like DOS interfaces because that's just how things go. Here, bitter and mind numbing, just like war. I never asked for war. Have you ever been to war? Life's war. We fight every day, Jill. So you haven't been to a war? <laughs> Not to an official one, at least. Something I've been wondering for a while now. What could that be? First was how a professional assassin could be so polite and pleasant to be around. But I guess your line of work doesn't have any bearing on your personality. Thanks a lot. <laughs> what I've often wondered about is how can you be so calm here? Aren't you worried about police? Let me see what we watch and protect. Oh, it's Alice Rabbit. Oh my god! I buy that for a dollar! 60 bucks! For... ramen. Bubbles? No signal! Hassy zero. Oh, turned it off. Oh, is that all of them? Huh. Let's just leave Burrito Galaxy 65 up there. Well, first of all, I try to keep everything as clean as possible. 
Second, I don't come here looking for trouble, so I don't raise suspicion. Finally, you can thank your boss for raising my mind about other folks. My boss? I've seen what she's done. I feel safe here. She could take care of things if I went haywire. Haywire? You? Don't mind that. Or not to if you just... Yeah, bleh. You wouldn't happen to know how she got her mechanical arm, did you? I heard she lost her original fighting cyborg wrestler. The gone rogue. Just a rumor, though. Damn. Still don't know, then. Have you tried asking her? We got So we have maver mavericks, even with just cyborgs? I mean, you're... Your brain, I don't think your brain can do that, but whatever. She said it's more interesting if it's left a mystery, which leads me to believe that she might have started some of the rumors herself. They're believable, because she's her. Maybe I'll see her in action one day. You should, it's quite the show. Good news, Jillian. I think it's because, I think it's because we have Jill and Gil that I'm getting mixed up with his name. Good news, Jill, the helmet came off and he can take your break. Finally. It's always a pleasure, Jamie. Thank you, Jill. I did ask for this. Boss, break. Alright. Oh, hey. Different CG thingy now. Valhalla. Cyberpunk bartender action. <laughs> Her face. Alrighty. It's now safe to... It's the... the now safe to turn off your computer thingy. Hey, it's Cat Grill. Boss should clean the chicken bucket she throws out. Everyone can smell the bus from a mile away. Now we're not going to continue yet. Um, I guess I'll keep playing since, like, a bunch of people asked for it. Now that I like, really made it clear that I wasn't that I wanted people to say if they want me to continue. So yeah, I'll I'll keep going. Um, I'll still keep it up in like a video a day probably. Um, oof. But uh, I don't have, like, I didn't record a bunch in advance, so, sort of. I might miss a day, doesn't mean I'm stopping, it just means I, you know, didn't feel up to recording that day. Or the day before that day, whatever. But yeah, this is Valhalla, and we'll be back soon.